For the first time, a suspect answered to charges today in a nearly 10-year-old death investigation. Jacob Bumpus pleaded not guilty to abusing Paige Johnson's corpse and tampering with evidence. We have known from day one that he was in fact a suspect, although we could never officially say that. Johnson's sister and mother were overjoyed Tuesday when police in Colerain Township took Bumpus into custody. A major break in the case happened four months ago when a man found the remains of Johnson, a 17-year-old mom who disappeared in 2010. The uh, citizen who, who found her, it was dumb luck that brought him there. Maybe it was divine intervention. Using her remains as evidence, prosecutors say they were able to link Bumpus to Johnson's death. The indictment shows what we believe we can thoroughly prove. Uh, Will there be additional evidence that could support a homicide? We'll keep looking at that. During today's brief arraignment, defense attorney Lewis Sirkin asked the judge for what he called a reasonable bond. He's been aware of uh, this situation and, uh, since 2010. He's remained in the area. He's remained gainfully employed. He lives with his mother, his brother, and sister-in-law in Finneytown, Ohio, where they have lived for the past uh, eight years. When arrested yesterday, he was fully cooperative. The judge said Bond had $50,000 full cash and ordered Bumpus to stay away from Paige Johnson's family. It's always weighed heavy on me that that he need to be brought to justice. It's just all worth it now. Now, by mid-afternoon today, Bumpus's mother apparently used equity she has in her home to secure the $50,000 needed to get her son out of jail. Both she and Bumpus's defense attorney declined to comment after this morning's court appearance. Reporting live tonight in Claremont County, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.